Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. So Blue Kai is a blockchain based game that is focusing on the fun gamification plus the quality of the NFT. Players can collect the Blue Kamon varieties, do breeding, evolve their Blue Kamons, and at the same time explore the world of Luka. So along the way, you can come across a lot of NFTs and the team's goal is simple. So to build the game that players can acquire and enjoy and at the same time make their NFTs appealing and collectible. So the objective of the game is like Bobox, so it's like a gaming platform where you can do yield farming and you know farming NFTs as well. So they will have multiple games within the game. This is also Pokemon inspired, so it's really nostalgic if you see their Blue Commons art. So it will be a combination of the DeFi plus gamification and the quality of the nfts all right so by the end of this video you will learn more about their ido details you will learn about the potential of this project what are their strong business model and ecosystem what are the mini games that they will be creating within the game and why do they say that they are focusing on the quality of nfts so here you can see their website, so bluka.io. You will be able to see all of the information here. So you can go to the game, log in your MetaMask wallet. Their previous sales are already completed with the price of minimum of 30 BUSD. So very affordable and box 180 BUSD for their standard sale, which is currently sold out. Alright, so we will go to the journey into the blue covers so their mission and vision are they want to build a different product comparing to the others not just focusing on the play to earn but even introducing the play to collect that's why they're making their nfts very appealing so they want to make sure that the amount of nft supplied is balanced so that they can prevent the inflation or deflation so a special NFT platform with fun gamification and quality of art. NFT is worth collecting and not just a piece of graphics. Players can gain privilege from the NFT they had. So also here, you can see that the team is fully doxxed. So you can see here, Narut Pubo Rakit as their CEO and then Patinia Yong Yai as the CPO. Supanat Pokchuring as their Chief Technology Officer. And then the rest of the members of the team are here. So we can take a look at the profile of Narut. So we've been talking to this person and he's really hands-on on his craft. So we can see here that he has been in LinkedIn since 2017 up to now. And his background is also an IT developer focusing on the front end. And now he has a team creating this game. So we can ask him questions if we have any clarifications about the project. NFT, they call it Blue Common. They have more than 100 plus Blue Common in their game. They are unique based on the rarity, elements, forms, and DNA genes that we can know more when we go to their white paper. Alright, so when we want to evolve our NFTs, so they will be classified into this rank, so from bronze, silver, and gold. So you can also do breathing here. So what is distinctive in this game is that their rarest blue commons can only be created by breathing. So you, you can only get, I think, epic and below when you buy the blue commons from the marketplace. And then you can get the ancient and mythical blue common by breathing. This provides a good opportunity for the early adopters of the game because they will be the ones who will start breeding the blue commons so there are also limited blue common and it can be obtained by playing the alesha so this is like a world or a place in blue common game where you can play and then earn some NFTs and rewards while doing so because you're trying to explore the world of Luka and then you'll be able to find this kind of NFT which is you know as mentioned limited and then NFT blue common so these are the information so when you have one and 
you connect to the game so you'll be able to check the name and then the rank levels which will be bronze silver and gold and then there are also elements so they have like fire water and others and then there will be power so i think this is related to their dna and this depends on every blue come on and then they have like elemental attributes so in this case it's fragments and strength so this is very important as well in doing the breathing and then uh, we have this the purity so blue commons pureness and here you can see the main attributes that are related to the lock accuracy attack adaptability agility and intelligence also here on the top so we can see here the guardian so each guardian gains special attributes and then the rarity whether you are epic rare common and common or mythical so you'll be able to see it there so you can see that it's true that their nft is created at the top quality right well, so nft blue come on so these are just the examples so they have this cards and you'll be able to see quickly the name of the blue commons the level and the elements so these are the quick information so you can see the power as well here on the lower right okay so when you do the game there are multiple games already here so here you can see the map you can do some exploration there you have your inventory and then right now they have the alesha wherein you can do click to upgrade and click to earn and then the blue card so this is a card game and then the blue kaland which will be i think released in the future this is turn-based strategy with tile-based mechanics so these are the current games within the game Okay, so when we focus on the game, you can earn in the Alesha a space or area in the game by a ranking. Through the blue card, you can earn in the PvE. Of course, the game mechanisms within Bluka. So it starts with summoning altar. So you'll be able to summon blue commons here. And when you have your blue commons, you will be able to read, of course, going back to the summoning lob. And then there will be an egg. And then you will hatch that or summon and it will be a blue common and then you can play that through alesha and when you play that through alesha so you can earn blue common tokens and when you earn that blue common tokens you can also do farming rewards of scroll tokens that you can use to summon another blue common as well there will be an option to play blue kaland in the future but we don't have much details about it so in alicia so you can get limited blue common that you can buy and sell on the marketplace and earn as well and then you can get other rewards that you can exchange in the shop so these are just the uh, high level information about the game or about the blue commons and then there are competitive comparison here they are comparing the project with mobox and cryptomon and wanaka farm that are all focusing on play to earn and then tokens are here the market cap are here as well and the growth is like 30 to 157 times but for bluka so they are not just focusing on the play to earn they also have play to collect they have two tokens within the game so the blue and scr and then the initial market cap is just two hundred thousand dollars so this is far behind this other three projects wherein they see of course a big potential like 10 times plus comparing to the other projects here right at this initial market cup and what if goes beyond this market cups right or even just to be at the level of one of these projects then it will be higher than this growth right so yep so that's the information about it here are their partners so their partners are bean starter babylon's fair play inspects mochi uh, cyberfy loot x Seawing Capital, Warden, Gamey, Arken Finance, and Tofu NFT. Alright, so let's check further. So they have these tokens as mentioned. So you'll be able to do purchasing of this token. It can be used for merchandise. They connect the market between crypto and real world in Thailand and Southeast Asia. They can do staking as well to earn SCR tokens and summon new blue common NFTs and then do breeding by using this token as a fee to also breed more blue commons. 
Here we have their SCR token. So this will be used to summon the blue common. And then the total supply of blue common depends on this token. And then earning by staking blue common tokens. So as you can see here, for some of the allocation, so for the seed, 10% will be released during the token generation event. Lock for one month and then linearly release for eight months. And then for the private, two months lock in and then linearly for nine months. And then for the public, so it will be 20% at PGE and then linearly for four months. Of course, if the project is really having a great potential there will be more buying pressure and there will be more value in terms of the tokens of the project so quarter three to quarter four 2021 so they've completed the token private sale partnering with nft marketplace standard nft presale exclusive nft presale blue common design contest some activities related to the community and then the release of the alicia teaser that you checked earlier so this quarter one 2022 they've completed the contract audit they've completed the alicia beta and then the final standard sale of nft so it's already completed it's already sold out and then level up and evolve this is already ongoing and what's upcoming are the IDOs with Beanstarter, Babylons, Gimme World, CyberFi, and Mochi. So it will be $455,000. And the dates are here. So March 21 to 22. In the future, they will be having farming. If you all have NFT, you can have yield farming. And if the tokens are also available, it can be done as well. There will be NFT staking. And then in Alesha, so there will be ranking and leaderboard where you can earn as well the breeding and the uh, blue cadex inspired by pokedex so they will have that soon what's up next for the quarter 2 2022 so they will have blueka marketplace so blueka card games cx listing achievement system mutant system and blue kaland beta and before the end of this year they will focus on privilege system event system blue kaland lending blue common system and more cex listing so we are still in the early phase of this project and if you believe on this project it will be good to uh join in this project as soon as possible right so these are their social media link and you can check all of this through their website which is not included in the presentation so this is their buyback and burn so they'll be able to come up with buyback and burn by using the breeding fee the summoning fee and the marketplace fee and the withdrawal fee going to the treasury and then 20% of all of the profits will be used to buy back and burn the token supply so usually the investors or the gamers look for this information and yep so they will be having this mechanism within their project all right and if you would like to know more about this project so just go to their white paper this is not a long white paper you can easily grasp all of the information about the game including the summoning altar the farming the evolution and the information about the alicia where you can be familiar with the regions and all of the informations about this mini game within the game all right so that concludes our video if you find this video helpful so don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be updated with the new projects that we will be covering and i will share all of the links all of the helpful information especially the ido details in the descriptions you can check that there later thanks for watching and See you on my next video. Bye-bye.